another reason why somebody would want to leave the home, a man, is there is what's what's lacking is this camaraderie. You're taken away from a community where you either would or would not be able to speak freely, openly about pain, whatever the pain it might be, yeah. right? So you could have a friend down the road or in the next town or whatever that ordinarily you can meet over coffee, beer, tea to talk about and say, hey, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm struggling because something happened, whatever it might be, or I did something wrong and so I didn't go there and say, and, and I'm struggling. And at least in that space, you, you are, you are, you are held, you are able to, to, to talk, but the lockdown also takes you away from that. And then you can't call Kopano on the phone because people are right here, yeah. <laughs> you know? And if I were to call Kopano and confide in him about whatever I did wrong or whatever pain that I carry, I can't do that. So I don't have an outlet at all, an outlet that existed before the shutdown. Absolutely. And you again, it all comes back to what then that does to you and how does it manifest? And then you're saying something in addition. I mean, we've been saying this. A friend of mine called Buisela Porter says this the same. He says, you know, uh, and 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 you have said this too, that that we men need spaces to do this. They need spaces, different kinds of spaces, to do precisely this. So when this thing is bugging you, you step out, you go play soccer, you talk to your uh, gents during during uh, during breaks, or when you're having beer, you go to sometimes just to call them. Look, here's a problem. And what, what what would you what would you do what would you do with with give me some give, give me your thinking right there that one of the things we need to be doing is to encourage men to keep on cultivating this stuff especially those men uh, it could be a an an imam it could be a priest it could be a soccer coach it could be a friend uh, it could be a therapist it could be a social worker somebody who can depend and says here's here's what's happening right. That you know, that is a, as important as at this moment. You don't have that. How do you process this? As I said, one of the things is just to to keep your eye on that mark. That's you know, we uh, maybe it's another 17, 15 days, sixteen days. But even if it's even if it's another thirty days, it's gonna end, and I don't have to take it out. Uh, or I let me try as best as I can. To, yeah. to minimize the pain for myself and for the for others here, and that's a that's basically self self healing, man. You you got to yeah. at least at this moment learn to do some self healing. We're covering a whole lot of topics, and I think maybe there might be a need as well to do a whole other recording because I already see that we are covering a number of areas that I need to just we need to find a way to cut up and and send separately. But before we wrap, I want to talk about. Um, the impact on us as men, again, still talking within the, 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 the lockdown, what we're seeing is that there's a strain financially. Oh, yeah. Right? And, we, and with, with Mbuiselo before, we've, we've covered um, the, the, the issue of, of um, finances and what the relationship between fatherhood and finances or our relationship with our partners when it comes to uh, finances. And we, we are at a point right now where people are not earning their wages or businesses are shutting down. Sadly, what we will find, uh, and hopefully not, but there's a huge possibility that what we find at the end of the shutdown is people have lost their jobs, Yeah. right? And so as I'm sitting at home where I don't know what the future looks like or I am not able to earn because I'm a freelancer, because I am I'm an actor, I am somebody who earns based on invoicing, but I can't work. And here I am 
within myself feeling, for lack of a better word, useless, frustrated, unable to provide. And the family or even my partner is looking at me either with an expectation or not, because it's all in my head, but how do I survive? Because I'm not able to provide. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Every time I think about it, it's going to be a, a mess. It's going to be a, a real uh, need. There's a real need to already think about the aftermath of this. Yeah. But at the moment, uh, I think the stress levels for men, for fathers, and for their families, if they're in families, and their relationships, is is going up. I can see literally the the anxiety meter, the, the, you know, or, or stress stressometer is going up because uh, if you are not thinking about supporting uh, families, so the government is supporting you know, small businesses. But you have the people who are hustling basically without without uh, regular jobs or in fact are unemployed. And this is going to devastate them. So, um, you know, I don't think we're paying enough attention. Actually, there, there hasn't been any attention at all about the effects of the lockdown on precisely the... the uh, that you use the word useless, right? About is is just gonna push men uh, even deeper into into uh, negative behaviors, negative emotions, this this feelings of of despair and and mm. I anticipate a number of things. I've been anticipating them, and, and I can see. So the, the, there will be a, a a, a, a more uh, from men because we tend to do this more call them um, um, uh, basically acting out these are acting out behaviors yeah. and one yeah. of them of course which is a, a weird way to say it's acting out drinking drinking is going to be a, a lot of problem uh, uh, and we already have that and of course now and we, this is where we started now and in the aftermath Increase in violence, uh, violence against partners, violence against each other. Uh, uh, you know, although, although you know, it'd be interesting if uh, to realize that now the violence, this homicidal violence, is going down, right? Because of the lockdown, so people are not, uh, the numbers are not as as gruesome as they as they can be. So certainly, I guess I'm agreeing with you. Certainly, there's going to be a lot. There is, uh, and you could see it immediately when there was this lockdown, a lot of anxiety, which is related to stress, uh, uncertainty, which called, caused a lot of panic. People were just panicking ar around. Uh, and then now gradually, when people, what we've spoken about, being confined uh, for people can't handle that. Yeah. Uh, and then you've just added a fourth element, which comes with, with uh, no money. No, no, no hustling, no income. Uh, what is to be done? I really think so. I mean, people think this is exaggerated. Things will have shifted at the end of this lockdown. Right. It, it, it definitely, there's a, there's going to be a shift, and part of the shift, of course, it, shift is precisely that a lot, a lot more people will be without, without money, without ability to, to feed themselves. Uh, and I'm thinking even people who came from other countries, I mean, there's numbers that are thrown about in South Africa, you know, a million, two million, even five million of people from other African countries here. They came here to work and there is now mm. a lockdown. And these are, yeah. most of them are men. What are they doing at this moment? Yeah. Yeah, I do, you know, I'm struggling to not be too alarmist even in my own head. Yeah. When, when I think about exactly that, um, because this is unprecedented times where the, the, the consequences of 
what this virus means, what this lockdown means. Uh, they're quite severe and they, they cut across, yeah. you know. They cut across socioeconomically and otherwise they cut across and we actually don't know what's going to be on the other side. You're right. Things are, if things are, there's going to be a shift. Now the question is, what, what yeah. is that shift right. going to look like? And how is it going to change the reality of life as we know it? Yeah. Oh, oh it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's such a, uh, somebody was saying this, and, and I mean, it comes down to, 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 in very broad terms, two things can happen uh, at the end of the lockdown, uh, but also in the uh, short to medium term, that you could want to, uh, a set what are called conservative policies. So you could go back and says we're gonna we're gonna basically uh, dig down and do conserve what we have, and mm. and societies tend to do this. You conserve, sometimes you go back, uh, or you could you could really have progressive policies. And one or two I've just heard have been happening in South Africa, where instead of just thinking about what is to be done now, you have to be start thinking, okay, things are gonna shift. We have to think about progressive policies, including policies that you realize now about uh, the, you know, uh, something as that, that we've been struggling with, basic basic uh, uh, income, right? Like a, uh, a national income, basically. So that people have to get money uh, in their hands. And then, and of course, you start from there. That's a, that's a progressive policy. We don't have that in the country. At least if you had that, uh, people would still be fair right now will be fed and then they wouldn't we wouldn't have a such a uh, it's going to be a lot of of hungry yeah. people there yeah yeah i yeah, know moren that i think what we we are going to have to do is to revisit a couple of things um over the next couple of days make appointments and and do this but for me it was it was important Firstly, to check in, um, and also to just talk, because uh, I'm, I'm sure there's there are a number of of us who who need the space to talk, and hopefully, ah, nice. what we what we're starting now is going to um, create space for others to join into the conversation. Continue this, okay? Uh, so, please talk to to the other man. This is. This is good stuff, as always. This is good stuff. It's important, Moren. We're trying. We're trying. I, I need this for my, my own sanity. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Moren. Much love, Ndati. Take care. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah.